Some crossings are all around Oklahoma, and tonight the state is making a move to protect you. The state's spending $100 million for new lights, crossing arms, and signs. KOCO's Kim Passoff is on the northwest side with more on this safety plan. Kim? Well, Paul and Jessica, the railroad tracks run right through the intersection of Britain and Western, and only a few feet down the tracks here at Northwest 92nd. There is no crossing arm, so many people try to beat the train here. And last February, it cost two women their lives. Mathis and Lois Ademi died instantly when a train hit the car they were in. Two of the eight lives lost last year at railroad crossings in Oklahoma. And we must do a better job as a state to protect our citizens at these rail crossings. And that is what this plan will do. For the next six months, all of Oklahoma's 3,700 railroad crossings will be checked. The 300 deemed the most dangerous will get safety upgrades. Well, the train never loses. The lights and bells aren't enough to stop many cars. Steve Curtis says he sees it at the tracks next to his business on an almost daily basis. A lot of near misses, people just trying to beat the train, way too close. ODOT wants your input too. If you know of a dangerous crossing near you, contact them. Anything they can provide, any information would be very helpful. And upgrades to the most dangerous crossings should begin in January and take a few years to complete. Live in Northwest Oklahoma City, Kim Passoff, KOCO, 5 News.